when you start introducing things like caffeine, you're going to give yourself a little bit more of a need for things that are going to get leached out with that, if I'm understanding it all correctly. Yeah. I mean, there's some common causes of lower magnesium status if we even just start with, with stress, right? And that can be physical stress. So in terms of training, we're obviously going to have a higher need for magnesium. I mean, magnesium makes adrenaline as well. You're required to make adrenaline. So that's obviously key. Psychological stress. So mental, emotional, you're going to increase your magnesium needs. If we think environmental for the professional athletes or for anybody who's on business and traveling a lot, you know, plane travel is a stressor. And then even things like injury. So trauma is a stressor. So whether you're injured or, you know, post-pregnancy for, for women, these are all situations where magnesium requirements go up. What you're talking about is also the vices definitely impact magnesium. And so whether it's coffee, alcohol, and the one that probably doesn't get enough attention is smoking weed, right? Marijuana's impact. All those things are going to increase requirements for magnesium. And then of course we get into things like on the food side, you know, like processed food intake. If we overcook foods, we're going to not have significant magnesium that we're taking in. 